Teachers have felt disruption this week as they return to school from winter break between a surge in COVID cases fueled by the Omicron variant and, of course, this winter weather creating really messy conditions today. And yeah, we're joined live this half hour by New York City Schools Chancellor David Banks. Chancellor, congratulations again on the job. One week in, how's it going? How are you feeling? One week in, I'm completely exhilarated, excited for our kids, for our families. It was, a, it was a crazy week, right, with the surge of the virus and a snowstorm today. But we kept our schools open. We had hundreds of thousands of our kids who came to school every day this week and got a great education. I couldn't, I couldn't be uh, more, more happy and more excited for them. Well, you've got tons of energy for it being your first week and everything that happened. So that, so that is good news, especially on a Friday at 5, 5 o'clock. So let's talk about it, though, today, because you referenced that. Why did New York City public schools decide to remain open today? Because schools are sanctuaries for our young people. They're not just buildings. They are places where they are loved, where they are educated, uh, where their friends are, the teachers who know them and who work with them every day and they look forward to being in school. And it's critically important mm -hmm. that we remember that and that we keep our schools open for all those young people who need to be in school. That's not only a place where they get a good hot meal, but where they really are taken care of and it's important for them. And we will do everything we can to keep those schools open. Mm -hmm. You know, the last time we had a big storm, um, <laughs> the, the last guy to, to, to lead uh, uh, New York, Mayor de Blasio at the time said, look, parents, the idea of a school day, that might just not, you know, that might be gone. That might just not happen anymore. I mean, are, are, are you still on board that train of the idea that if conditions are to the point where it is not safe for buses and it is not safe for kids to actually physically be in a classroom, that they're still going to school on their iPads or computers? Listen, if we ever reach a point where school is just not safe and it's just completely untenable to be in schools, we're always going to err on the side of safety. That, that is the way that we will absolutely move. But I will tell you that that was, that was not the case today. We had about four inches of, uh, of snow. Um, New Yorkers have dealt with much more than that in the past. Um, we didn't have any problems with our buses. Think about that. Anytime we've had a snowstorm in the past, there have always been issues with buses. No complaints about buses throughout the entire city uh, today. We got our kids to school, uh, and they had a great time in school, and I'm just very happy that everything worked out so well. And everybody stays safe. So we talk about the weather. Let's talk about the other big issue you're facing right now, COVID and the number of active cases between the students and your staff. Is your department monitoring that? And how many are they monitoring right now? Oh, I mean, we're, we're monitoring it on a regular basis. You know, the numbers have gone up because we're testing and we're increasing the testing. We're doubling the amount of testing that we were doing before the break. And so it's a big deal. And I just really want to take a moment and just thank all of the, the, the city agencies, Department of Sanitation, Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, the NYPD, the coordination to bring over 3 million tests to our students across the city is a Herculean effort. And, and it's really, the credit really goes to, to our mayor who has led this effort of bringing all the city agencies together so that we're working in alignment uh, for all of our children. I couldn't be more proud. And we all hear you. The goal is to keep school buildings open. That is your priority. I understand it. We all hear it. We get it. But at what point, at, you know, what has to occur for you to say, look, it's just too much? Where is that line for you? Listen, we, we, we'll, we'll deal with that when we, when we get to it, right? I mean, uh, we're always going to pay attention to it. Every case is unique and different, um, but we're never going to put our kids in a position where they won't be safe or that we're opening up schools and putting people in danger. That's not what we're going to do. There's no set marker for it. Um, we look at it on a case by case basis. And ultimately, the mayor and myself will make the best call after talking to all the key city agencies. Um, and that's that's the marker. The marker is about communication, studying the issues and uh, making sure that we're making the right call. All right, before we let you go, Teachers Union has called for remote learning options out there, even just temporary ones, uh, until they can get a handle on staffing issues. Is it something at this point the Department of Ed would consider, or is it just out of the question? No, we're keeping all, all options are on the table. We're continuing to study those issues. I've heard from parents all across the city who would like a remote option. Uh, we're hearing that. We respect it. Uh, we're studying the issue now, and certainly in the coming days and weeks, we want to be able to come out uh, and let uh, let our communities know, you know, wh where we stand on that. But I think that the um, 
the uh, the leadership at the union as well, Michael Mulgrew and others, we talk to them on a regular basis. They have been partners with us in this process as well. And together, we're going to work to come up with the best solutions uh, and the best path forward. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, a winter storm, a pandemic, and seven days in, still standing strong. Uh, next Chancellor week is a little calm <laughs> yeah, for we'll, you. We'll, we'll see what comes next week. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Chancellor but we'll Bay. be ready. We're All New right. Yorkers. We're resilient. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much for the time and uh, speaking with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.